One third of our country's population live below the poverty line. We have 5 million families struggling to earn at least 4,800 pesos a month. So many have tried various approaches to reduce poverty through the years. One of them is a 35-year-old corporate-led social development foundation. This is the Philippine Business for Social Progress, or PBSP. PBSP believes that one solution to poverty reduction is to create jobs. And the best way to do this is to promote the growth of small and micro-enterprises in the countrysides. And so, in 1989, PBSP began to implement the Small and Medium Enterprise Credit Program, or SMEC. Collectively, micro and small enterprises, or MSEs, are the country's largest employers. PBSP wants to make a significant contribution through the SMEC program. Created in 1989, SMEC was able to source more than 286 million pesos from the United States Agency for International Development, or USAID, and more than 389 million pesos from the German development bank, KFW. The funds are then channeled through Intermediary Financial Institutions, or IFIs. SMEC's IFIs are rural banks, development banks, savings and thrift banks in the countrysides. They lend to small entrepreneurs at prevailing market rates. So far, under the SMEC program, more than 3 billion pesos have been lent out to more than 10,000 small and micro enterprises. This has created over 15,000 new jobs and has sustained more than 63,000 existing jobs. This is the impact of SMEC in the countryside. This is the impact of SMEC on poverty reduction. We visit a typical SMEC borrower in the countryside. Garment maker Julita de la Cruz from San Ildefonso, Bulacan borrowed 400,000 pesos from the SMEC funds of the Producers Rural Bank. She borrowed the money to serve as additional capital to be able to accept large orders and eventually hire more people. Kami ay may tauha na labing isa na ngayon nadagdagan pa ng kami umutang dito na ng marami pa na kumula, ah, himigit kumula sa 50 katao. Other typical SMEC borrowers are Norma and Arnulfo Banag, the owners of a printing press in Valenzuela, Bulacan. With SMEC funds from the Asia Trust Bank, they were able to live up to large printing contracts with textbook publishers and hire more people. We borrowed for additional capital and uh, for, for and in so doing, we generated, uh, we were able to hire additional people, uh, something like uh, 15 to 20 additional personnel. The program is organized in a simple but efficient manner. Overseeing the whole operation is a program implementing committee or PIC. This PIC is composed of representatives who volunteer their time and services to decide on policies, implementation, and direction. They are from the Land Bank, the Department of Finance, the DBP, the Rural Bankers Association, the Chamber of Thrift Banks, plus two CEOs from PBSP member companies who serve as co-chairs. SMEC has two services that are free. For banking professionals, SMEC gives free seminars on credit risk management. For small entrepreneurs, there is the Corporate Volunteers for Enterprise Development, or CVED. Here, free business advice and mentoring can be availed of for free from a pool of more than 200 CVED volunteer advisors. They are experts and business professionals with various backgrounds and expertise, from marketing to manufacturing, from financial and management systems to product development. All this is PBSP's commitment to help micro and small enterprises grow. As these businesses grow, more jobs are created. As more people get jobs, more families can step out of poverty and into a better life. SMEC, the Small and Medium Enterprise Credit Program. Helping enterprises grow. Helping create jobs.